you are being recorded. Okay. So okay. okay. I've just forget about recording. your privacy. It's all. It's all quarantine anyway. So. <laughs> I think everyone's had a little too much of that already. Privacy, yeah. I mean. Yeah. Well, not me, but you know, I'm I'm totally cool with it. But yeah, I I know a lot of people are kind of losing their their minds. Yeah. 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 Okay, I so mean, we we work uh, we work remotely, so there's such a such a huge change uh, in, in comparison to people who really uh, would go out to work. Yeah. Def- so mm. yeah, I mean, I can I can understand that. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I barely. Th- yeah, nothing. I don't know. Has has things changed? Have you guys felt things changing significantly since the lockdown? Because honestly, I I really haven't. Like, I, it's the same routine more or less. It's just that I don't get. I don't really go out on the weekends or you know. But it's not a lot. Still, yeah. However, I thought that I'm much more like uh, quarantined. In real life, which I was worried about, like maybe I should go out more often. And yeah. now, so I said, okay, two weeks, two weeks at home without going out, no problem. I, this is how I live, and yeah. I realized that I, I, I haven't, I didn't live like that. I, I have problems with not going out three days in a row. I have problems with that. With you know, just buying something, some little thing, yeah. and yeah, kind of, so yeah. You take it for granted. I know it's the same. It's the same here also, and it's kind of weird to, in the times you do go out and you see it, like there's no one on the streets. Um, yeah. A lot of the roads are like blocked, barricaded already. I I got used to that. I mean, at first it was, but also I've heard the opinion of somebody. Somebody watched uh, said that he or she watched some movie and there was like a lot of people on the streets or and the first thought was. What are you doing? You are walking around in the city. This is not what should you do. We should you should do. And okay, okay, just a moment. That was that movie is not during the pandemic. It's it's just a normal situation. <laughs> <laughs> so when yeah. it will go back, you will be you will be be uh, uh, surprised. I yeah. I, I, I saw uh, there's there's the, the, the that that comics comics. Uh, fully drawn lines online you can check it it's 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 funny and there was mm-hmm. there's like character who's a bird is walking around and he he says okay i cannot see anybody and there is like a card left you are alone on the world right now the whole world just you know went out we just we just went out from earth and there's another line there we're going back in in 10 minutes <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I just had to sh- share it. Yeah. And yeah. anyway, guys, I think we have to kind of like change the name, the the unofficial name of the podcast uh, from the. Oh Taco, my gosh! From yeah. the Taco Bell, Wait. it's it's just have to be you know ordered online somehow. So so yeah, food, food hello, delivery. Hello, uh, if you know if any if if any listener kind of stumbled upon this. Uh, yeah, you just caught us in the middle of talking about how we're dealing with the lockdown. We didn't re- we didn't actually officially begin the the podcast, but you know, I think it's fine. So uh, yeah, welcome. And um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. I, what what were you saying, DJ, about? Um, yeah, I meant the the, t- the whole tackle tackle the idea the restaurant re- <laughs> reference yeah for the name for the unofficial never never really established name of the podcast but you know we have to kind of adapt to the situation it's all all have to be kind of like on online i think we should de- just deliver it st- straight straight to home but anyway we're podcasting so this is kind of like the maybe we the... should revisit all of the garage like didn't we have a list of names that had garage in it you there mentioned is, a few. There is garage, Cause, cause... garage, some some garage talking CG podcast, which uh, which would be great for us, but unfortunately, it's already taken. Oh, that's too bad. 
But why Taco Bell? Like CG Taco Bell or CG Taco? Yeah, CG maybe. Taco. I mean, I mean. CG Taco. You can still have that. You can have tacos at home. I mean, you can yeah, make just... tacos. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think oh, you should, know, at, that's at, at some point we should we should give some kind of a recipe. Oh, just so I just realized least, that, or at least for a three D taco, you know, that you could render. Three D taco. Oh, yeah, it's. I don't I mean, know. Make a cylinder, cut it in half, scale along X. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess so. One minute That'd taco cool. t- tutorial. Yeah, but but you know, it's okay. So this taco is from 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 the world. From the world to to talk, right? That this is why. Ah uh, no, I think I think you're being more clever than than us right now. Oh, so I, no, uh, nobody drew that. Nobody made. I don't think anybody had that connection in mind, or I didn't at least. I don't know if because, you did, DJ. So so you can, mean like T A L K O? We That's can what you spell meant, right? it like C G talk T A L K. Then a post, uh, po- post uh, character and O, uh-huh. and there's yeah. CG taco. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's cool, actually. I like yeah. it. We should Ner- nerdy we could go enough, with that. Nerdy we could, pun. Yeah, for for such a nerdy pun. <laughs> nice play and nice, nice, yeah. Uh, yeah, nice double entendre there. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah. and it's a good idea for uh, like a. Uh, um, starting point for a uh, for a uh, logo like you can take a taco and put a lot of like models stuff like that like there's some w- wires so, yeah. and so, all that stuff is so generally wrapped. guys as you can see uh, you can use cre- creatively the lockdown time <laughs> on making uh, a big yeah. time at least which, in, your, in your plans you know <laughs> hitting big yeah. Time. yeah which actually which actually your skills is the and brand and stuff yeah mm-hmm. Which, which is actually sort of the point of this whole. Uh, I mean, honestly, we're all just getting together and um, shooting the breeze to stave off the the lockdown. I don't know loneliness, I guess. But but um, yeah, for the listeners, that's we'll, we're um, we're basically kind of hovering around, circling around that that topic. Yeah, like people, everyone's kind of at home. We don't know. How, well, I don't know about you guys. I think over at, over in Poland, things are looking better, right? Like you've, your restrictions have become a bit looser. Is that true? No, yeah, but not, that, not, no, not really much. You know, only one oh. because people got so angry that they can go, they can't go out to forest for jogging or cycling, that yeah. they canceled that. But this is the only one. So it, in general, oh. it's rather go, it's rather getting more harsh than than than. Uh, oh than jeez. Yeah. yeah, but okay. that's, but but the situation is not like uh, like that heavy as in some places right now yet at least we, we don't yeah. know how it will turn out but yeah it seems that like it's like it's a little bit softer than I don't know Italy or yeah but United, uh, United States right now. I noticed mm. that we are uh, Polish in Poland. I didn't know we are such a forest nation. Like there was such a, there was such a um, like an uproar. Know, like, yes, when when they closed forest, I didn't know that. I'm just like, okay, guys. I mean, so many of my friends were angry. Like they are spending like half half of the day uh, in forest. It's, Damn, that's uh, that's really par- cool. The partisan ethos, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know, maybe if it's maybe get, you, if it's getting heavy, you're just <laughs> getting into the forest and hide. Maybe you are a nation. Uh-huh. I did. I yeah. didn't know we are a nation of 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 shapeshifters like some werewolves, mm. and nobody told or, me that. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of hippies. More like no, I'm just kidding. No, but that's <laughs> a bunch of hippies. <laughs> no, no. No. but but that's really cool. No, I I honestly I if I had a forest to. To, to walk around in like close by I'd probably do that I, I, right. I really enjoy nature um, so, but you have a ra- rainforest right? Uh, yeah or... no yeah but like I live in the capital and basically everything here is just concrete this is like the, the concrete jungle like like it's not the it's not the uh, the tropical paradise most people would think oh. um, like it's not the, it's not it's not what you put on a postcard it's, this is not the place like yeah, I, this like, is where well, you do like, you do not from, go here for vacation. Like from the yeah. news, I I've heard like the the paradise with the authorities 
like claiming to shoot everyone that doesn't wear masks or something like that. That's that. That's well, news yeah, got and from Philippines right now. So. This is also heavy. this. This is also where like this is where that sort of thing is likely to happen. Like if you uh, in the more rural areas where the beaches are or or where the forests are, you probably wouldn't have to deal with like nobody would would be would probably is probably being. Um, you know oppressed in that way but most the cases happen here so this is like i live in the you know in the in the i don't know what you call like in the pits oh in the black pits of the yeah like the city you know like the the capital so so but luckily like i where i stay is like it is is one of the few places where um like the 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 nature was preserved so i've got like in a way like i've i've got like a, a little patch of forest around just outside of the house which is nice but it's not an actual forest you know there's there's no trill there's no uh like there's no thrill of like um ooh you know maybe i'll Maybe I'll bump into a wolf or something <laughs> while I'm enjoying my sandwich. No, that you know, it's pretty tame. But oh, it's yeah. a couple of so mosquitoes, maybe. But so you that's have as the, wild as the, it gets. Yeah. You you have the, like the the worst part of living in a in a like rainforest country because you have this this uh, this temperature and humidity, but you don't have the forest, right? Yep. No consolation whatsoever <laughs> yeah wow. you can at least uh, yeah, search for some online consolation sort of you know yeah or just just make your the own on, 3D the online forest, contest yeah make yeah make a 3d por- forest or podcast you know just make a podcast <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> and let it all out all your all your frustrations or whatever it would be cool actually I mean, for me, like Philippines, it's just this is like the exact opposite of of, of globe. Where I, I I don't feel like when I'm talking to you, Marco, I don't feel like there's like a cultural uh, like a gap or something like that. But I I I suppose that you are living in a different reality than than me every day, like everyday situations. So it's oh yeah, it's the same. Like I, I feel the same way too. It's like it's some I guess because you know like we've. I guess we've been like colleagues for how for some time already. So like, yeah, I kind of forget also that you know, uh, things are different, which is yeah, cool. But, but, yeah, but then again, way. it's 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 kind of like very interesting that this this thing, like the whole pan- pandemic thing, kind of get gets everyone on the same bandwagon page. I mean, yeah, yeah, same page. Yeah. yeah. So you guys don't have to deal with thirty nine degrees Celsius. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, but we have no, to just, no I'm kidding, you know. Cold weather. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. yeah. I know, I know. It's no, no your yeah. your cold is like no joke. I don't think I could uh, I think not I would a, choose thirty nine. Not, not as bad as in Russia, but over mm-hmm. like uh Yeah. I can give you I mean I mean for, for sure we are more used to to cold temperatures than than probably you are used to to, to your climate, like, you know. But Okay, I'll give you a, like an anecdote. I was in Italy and it was cold and I thought, okay, I'm going to play this Slavic Slavic uh, tough guy who, who is not afraid <laughs> of cold because I thought yeah. that this is good. This, that, that was expected from me. But this was really chill, chilly. Like I would wear something at this point, despite I'm from Poland. And I didn't yeah. because I thought, okay, I'm going to, you know, be play tough and say, ah, oh, this is, so oh, that's, that's a warm it's temperature. Nothing. And they yeah. all had like the, their their uh, jackets and and the, their hats, all that stuff, the scarves. And I was yeah. walking around in a t-shirt, and yeah, I, I almost got uh, some infection, and, and it was oh man, <laughs> that was the last time I did, <laughs> did it. I overplayed yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Italy, Italy is kind of like the place that where you'd expect you know the warm, warm like at least pleasant weather. And that's like last year spring. I, w- I was just like having a trip, like a weekend trip with my wife to to Milan, and yeah, we also hit kind of like the the worst weather possible in in spring. So it was cold, and <laughs> and it turned out that here uh, in Poland it was uh, better weather than than there in Italy. And 
it's it's kind of hits me that a year ago I was just there flying with the plane and a uh, year later oh, and the, that yeah, was the now, kind of right? like the that that place in Italy was kind of like the center of the whole pandemic yeah this is north I, I I traveled a lot to Italy because I had some I had some family in Italy and uh, I remember I would travel by bus and when we were with my brother we were in Italy there this is this this humid and and warm hot uh, climate so it's different but so so we we would go into the bus and to, after like a month of being in Italy we would travel north to Poland and there was like a stop of every four hours uh, in, in some city and at some point you 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 go through to all the Italy and there is uh, Alps mountains so you go through them and you go out on the next stop in Austria so in Austria so we, we went to all Italy and it's like 12 hours of, of, of bus ride already and we get we went out in Austria in some like rather mountainy area and we went out and this and it's chilly and the 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 air is uh, is dry and it's it's it, you would say this is and, and everything is kind of gray it's not like orange anymore so you would say that this is kind of depressing change like this is more this is less welcoming uh uh climate but we went out from bus and i'm walking <laughs> looking at my brother and say okay we are home we are home <laughs> finally <laughs> it's cold gray chilly there is wind and basically yeah everything is like all the buildings are just grayish grayish blue or yeah so i i feel i feel home finally it's yeah, the polish <laughs> wow the po really the polish I... photoshop filter <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that yeah. i I didn't know that like you like it was it so you you know you don't really like things are always over it's always overcast there you mean no, like no. you get oh, a lot of no. we're just over uh, over reacting <laughs> yeah yeah I'm just oh. little I'm joking I mean it's worse than Italy for sure but it's like <laughs> yeah, but yeah, for example yeah. I needed more energy to handle the climate in Italy which is hot and and it's you would say this is holiday climate but for me it needed some kind of energy to handle it and being in a cold kind of like not welcoming uh i don't know nor northern climate is is the situation More when familiar. i don't have to do anything i just you know i yeah. just walk around <laughs> yeah. so that was a big trip away from the we didn't even like sketch the officially the 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 topic we want to talk about and we wanted yeah. to talk about how during the quarantine times and and sitting at home and this all pandemic thing uh how to keep yourself busy what to do how to take advantage of it because everybody is losing something probably uh because of that situation but you can you know uh act smart and think okay so how this situation actually can play into my advantage when it comes to my career in cg my skills my i don't know whatever my resources uh so that was the official yeah uh, the topic and right right yeah. now you can see that we are kind of like uh, unwillingly sidetracked to you know memories uh. of our trips and th things that we can't really do now so yeah kind of, yeah. We're yeah all missing out on that and yeah, but but you but, know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, other, I think but on the other hand, you can you can kind of like see that right now that you can't do a lot of things, you probably can do a lot of other things that you didn't have really have time for, while doing all these other trips. I don't know, yeah. walking around, and you have to use use this time wisely. Actually, one one interesting uh, thing that occurred to me just now is you i mean like already people have been kind of there have been those uh, like i think social media like there's been a, this whole thing about like being productive and what it is like everyone's doing like their you know their own like everyone's got like some personal project they want to do throughout over the quarantine um to kind of keep themselves busy and productive and i think i think that anyone 
like uh, anyone in in you know the 3D industry or or any you know like you could be like a, a t- like in a concept art or whatever any anyone within the sphere of like sort of uh, digital um, like computer computer graphics basically um, you know obviously like you're like e- I think everybody knows like that it's a it's an eternal grind like if you're really into it like you you'd probably this has probably not stopped you from uh, like you've probably been practicing regularly or or making things regularly anyway but one 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 thing i think about like uh, having this much time to ourselves is uh and it kind of ties into like lego and would you know like when was the last time like when was the last time you've actually you know sort of just sat down uh and played with your your dcc Right, like with your like like not not working on like a oh, wow. a portfolio okay. entry, not 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 working on a job or in this you know like a, a not working from a brief, just like really just playing around. You know, this I mean, this is that that's something that maybe not everybody has the luxury to do, especially if you are like if you're working in a studio or you know or or, or something like that. Um, I'm sure there's just so much to do already for the job that by the time you, you know, like you, you by the time you're you're done, you probably you probably not want to touch a like you're you probably not want to fire up Max or Blender or or whatever it is yeah, you're that, using. That, that's that's one way of looking at it. But uh, <clears throat> I can drop in a line about uh, online competitions that I've participated uh, during the last. Three weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, it it kind of like counter counter arguments this uh, idea of not wanting to touch your DCC at leisure because uh, mm. uh, yeah, like three weeks ago, uh, Fabio Palveldi, a uh, guy that's running a YouTube channel and he's also an or- co-organizer of D2 conference for Artemis artists, and <clears throat> he was. Just uh, probably like looking for an idea of creatively inspiring, you know, the community or just doing something creative in the in this lockdown times, and uh, he came up with an idea of making a kind of like spontaneous online challenge. He uploaded a model of a car that he made and just went on social media asking guys that he knew or, or you know could reach through his uh, social media channels. He announced this as a one week online channel to just get creative with this model and do anything that you really like and create a render. Oh, so well, that's cool. The, yeah, the price was for, uh, the price. He, he even set up a price like to make it kind of like a competition. But the price was, I don't know, it's, it was rather rather symbolic. Like maybe maybe it's not, not super low. It was, it was I think hundred dollars for the winner or something like that. But oh. nothing nothing really crazy. Yeah, but still, that's and the, and I the mean, idea was was just you know get people creative and doing something just for fun of of creating some engaging render and uh, I was really surprised. Well, I tried to make my own. I, I really made my first car render at this time because I was doing a lot of three D, but never really seriously touched the topic of car render per se. Yeah, uh-huh. really done, done yeah. That, so. that's great. So, so that was an occasion to just play around, have fun with it, and yeah. check my skills. Maybe uh, I didn't make the deadline, so it was just you know me making a render. But I, I was able to jump into the second one that he announced, and he's right now doing this weekly on a weekly basis and announcing, a, I think, on Mondays on his YouTube oh. channel or social media. He's oh, announcing really a, a topic, and it's a deadline. Th- until Saturday or something like that, people sent yeah. him the renders, the ready-made works, and he's doing a live stream at Sunday with some guests, and he he made the guests like the jury of judges, and they are discussing mm-hmm. the works online, having you know chit chat about about stuff. And what's really uh, awesome about this whole thing is uh, is how creative people get really when when they can do kind of the work. The way that they want it, yeah. So, so just to just yeah. to stand, stand out, make something funny, creative. Like the first topic was the car, and the car was, it was well, most of the renders were kind of like 
they were very good really like a lot of good entries like to totally professional level renders and uh, like as astonishing beautiful images but some of them were also doing this like little creative twist to it and the winner also did that like he kind of like made a comic strip of, of five renders of the same scene but you know telling like a little story through a comic book strip and yeah very nice work but the second uh, challenge was a Macintosh 2020 so the model was an old Macintosh computer and people really went crazy with that topic like just storytelling renders crazy stuff some some robots some renders that look like a shot from from a weird movie and the third the third week uh, which ended just just this weekend it was star wars so people did kind of like a fan work of star wars with bb bb8 model mm -hmm. and also a lot of crazy crazy like clashes of styles and so there's yeah. one one week for to complete and one the, just the one week thing. for for a whole artwork so people get really <laughs> kind of creative on how to manage also the work because you, you kind of do it most of the people that are attending are probably working professionals some of them probably don't have commissions right now or but but a lot of them just do it in their free time and that's that's how i approached it as well i just made uh, right, yeah. an artwork for for this competition of macintosh i try to yeah. i try to think it clever because i was doing a live stream while working so i kind of did it in the in the hours of work uh, at the same time like using the using some scene scene i made for work and for the live stream of the, on the channel and uh, just getting creative online and it turned out to be really funny yeah didn't also make to the final of the of the challenge but at least i get a little bit, a little notice on blender nation or something like that where i posted it so it kind of turned out to be sort of a success and i, I really had fun I tried some some new things along the way that I didn't have the chance like working other, in a regular yeah mm -hmm. way and yeah I tried posing a character there so, like not really uh, good at characters yet but I used yeah so I used some kit bashing so uh, done uh, <coughs> used the uh, some assets from Blender Cloud and some ready made sort of like reusing yeah people's assets and but uh, reusing them but thinking on how to really make them work for my scene creatively like pose them light them add some props huh. and, yeah. so oh. that's the that's also pr probably you know just the daily bread of 3d artists and challenges like this make you realize that this is sometimes the way that you have to go enable to be to make it possible to complete really because you you cannot make everything from scratch in such a short amount of time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so, so that's, that's uh, also i mean that's also the part of creative approach to the work you know how you how you plan out the, the work the ways that you work yeah so yeah. so this this uh time this time constraint also is contributing to your creativity because yeah you have to make you... fast decisions and mm -hmm. yeah yeah so so yeah. so you go for do, for for these which are kind of you get the most reward for the least uh, invested uh, resources like some cool ideas shortcuts uh, mm -hmm. stuff like that yeah, so, yeah. And, and, uh, what i found like working on this particular project of mine is that i started out the like the work was pretty simple i i just thought about ideas first yeah so uh, came out with a cool idea of how to use the computer in, in the scene and use the some scene that I've o almost had done like a pre-made uh, Argvis scene and just thinking about how to you know, twist it around and use it in a not obvious way and I think it turned out to be working like people at least uh, the reactions that I got in the, in social media for the work and stuff it seems that like sometimes you know when you're working on a on something like professionally in a very specific vein you're just following some some rules and sometimes you're losing like the the bigger picture sort of that uh, mm -hmm. it's easy to or like lose the play that, aspect lose. like the 
Yeah, and uh, you you focus on, on you know f photorealism. I don't know some some things that are kind of obvious to you, like composition and stuff like that. But you mm -hmm. might miss like um, yeah, some some kind of like meta meta levels of of the wor work, like what it's. Uh, how what do you have, have to say? How you really, how you really <laughs> react to to, the, to that? You know, how, how the elements play together. Maybe they are telling a story, or yeah, um, yeah, or, or you can make something really different just by accident, like using ideas that are, uh, yeah, just accidental. Yeah, and and if you make fast yeah. decisions, fast iterations of of the creative process, it it kind of yeah, I think it's it's very very re like refreshing. Yeah, so, for sure. W w where is the where is this challenge uh, um, announced, and wh where wh where is, where where are the, this the, the, well, that part? I think the easiest way to get in touch with this whole thing is either by a Facebook, and he Fabio is cooperating with the VW Art Club Facebook group. It's kind of oh. like a, ah, so uh, it's okay. Yeah, and they're posting the the works of the challenges there as well on the group and the YouTube channel of Fabio. So Fabio Palvelli on YouTube because he's doing the live streams on YouTube and uh, announcing the, the topics and announcing the the winners and also discussing the artworks. Later on, he, he made uh, interviews with the authors of of the winning works also, like live streaming and doing interviews. So pretty cool. Also, pretty interesting yeah, to you know get to cool. get to know how people uh, approach such works in a different way and yeah people from from architectural visualization background or i don't know product visualization or other veins of cg industry very nice yeah it's even it's even uh, you know worth just like watching the the whole all of the entries yeah hugely, hugely inspiring Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so, you know, it's nice to... I mean, I think that's the one good thing about... Like, it's good... It, this thing happened at... If this thing was mm, bound to happen, uh, I think it couldn't have happened at the... I know, never mind. I don't know how to phrase it in a way that that doesn't sound, you know. But, I mean, I guess it's like we're fortunate to, to have... I mean, it, it it sucks that we're dealing with this, but then it's also we're also lucky to be a generation that um, you know kind of has this online platform that allows us to kind of build communities and thrive in like these online communities at the comfort of our own homes. So even if uh, you know everyone's locked down, like yeah, like somebody decides to put up a contest and people join in, and that's that's really cool. It's really nice. It's it's kind of it's kind of heartwarming to think about. And then you know, but yeah, like there's also uh, there's also the opportunity now to kind of just mm, play with sort of uh, yeah, just like doodle. You know, like I don't know. Like, do you guys find that you still you're still able to do that? Like, given on a day, on a on a regular you know on a regular weekly basis yeah i i, I Can just be pretty, just yesterday yeah. i i took my tablet and make it work right? and i just 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 painted in 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 gimp with tablet just painted some doodling exactly what you said yeah. like yeah it was it was very very rewarding oh this I, is I, what i use i use just a pen for that and sketchbook for that so more traditional ways of the same the same goal but this was like i i wanted to do this for a long time and finally said okay just just i'm not going Now's to postpone oh, wow. it yes for, for well, such hey, a long time you mentioned gimp uh and i mean gimp is cool i'm not sure i haven't used it recently but you ever tried using krita it's a uh, really nice uh oh yeah Okay, so so I used GIMP. I showed my work to my brother, and she, she, he said, "You should try Krita." <laughs> yeah, so you should. Yeah, yeah. Today, you really should. I think today yeah, I the Krita's, Krita's brush system is pretty pretty awesome. It's yeah, it's it's pretty to, yeah to the traditional ways here. It's 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 got a lot of 
lot in store for for digital painting as uh, at least yeah, it, it was the main purpose of the application really yeah. I have problem uh, because I'm left-handed, so I need to somehow um, somehow configure my tablet for left hand. I, I hope this is possible in general. Yeah, it, it, it sure is. Yeah, it should be. It should be uh, at least in the, in the drivers somehow. You should be able to set up left-handed. I, I, I actually, I at this moment I had like this 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 uh, I got aware that. A lot of people who are left, a lot of architects are left-handed, and uh, I, I knew that when I studied architecture and before that, um, because I was left-handed. So of course, I just was interested in everything about left-handed people. So uh, now I think that I don't know if this is some genetic thing that you are, you have this this uh, talent for architecture, or in like 20 years, 40 years ago, 30 years or 50 years ago, when you were left handed, you had to, uh, you had to be creative in going around a lot of problems with scissors, <laughs> with, <laughs> with, with, with writing and that, 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 you know, that, uh, uh, uh G gave you a, a experience which you, okay, which, which made you more I know have have better feeling of space and rotating stuff around or putting them around. Like, might be, might be. Oh, you know what? You, you, you know, that that actually more. that that yeah. actually that's a good point. Yeah, like you. Yeah, you had to deal with more spatial obstacles because everything was um, oriented towards right-handed people. Yeah. It's possible. So how, yeah. How how many people in their everyday life need to make a mirror? mirror version of something you are either architect mm -hmm. or you are maybe i don't know uh maybe a hairdresser that's, or that's, that's, that's generally interesting topic like because like the, the whole right-handed thing is probably mostly derived from the from the thing that we are writing with the right hand like from left to right but that's not yeah. the case for all the languages like for example like the, the jewish people do this opposite way uh, I don't know. Chinese al alphabet allows you writing. I don't know. Up, I think up Arabic, to, up down. Yeah, Arabic. Something yeah. like that, or like the different there are different systems for that. So that might be interesting to check whether it kind of makes any impact on you know on the whole yeah. culture, the way that that they think about things. You know, because that might might be an interesting topic to study. Probably. To <laughs> be being. Being left-handed, I uh, when I was at school, I had in the writing from left to right. I al always had my my hand blue from the ink of of, of any, any, anything I used. So, so I I wonder how it looks like for right-handed people in Arabic countries, <coughs> if they. Mm -hmm. But also, I, I read a book, and that book was it was about drawing, and it was uh, written, and there was a lot of uh, uh, illustrations made by a, an architect, and it was created like in sixties, maybe seventies, something mm -hmm. like that. So What's this an, guy, what is it called? Uh, it is. It was called. Uh, I will tell you. It was called from the frog's perspective. So. Oh wow. Uh, I will give you the author and this guy was an architect and uh, and so his 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 name is Jan Knothe but he, I think he was Polish it sounds like a German German uh, name but I think he, it was originally in Polish I think mm -hmm. so 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 this guy was let's say he was an experienced architect in 60s so he graduated architecture probably before war or just after second world war and he was left-handed and said that uh, at these times like around 40s in, in 20th century uh, his professor was even older because his professor was professor in 40s or 30s and so he graduated um, academy of arts probably in 19th century or maybe even at the start of 20th century and he basically forbid their forbidden the, their students to his students to draw with left hand because he claimed that this is never going to work that 
that that this kind of connection be between left hand and your brain is worse, as we all know, of course. And because of that, uh, you will never learn the space. You will never learn to draw that the way you can draw with right hand, which is going to make you more like uh, broad. It will give you a better understanding of drawing. This is how it is. And yeah, at this time, this is that was the official, official, seemingly official uh, point of view. And people Damn. were, yeah, and, and this guy, I had no you know, idea. yeah, so and this guy had a lot of problems with that. And uh, taking into consideration that the percentage of left handed people in the architects uh, is, is bigger, so I think there are a lot of people who are, uh, you know, like uh, persecuted that way. Um, so yeah, so that, uh, to, to me, to me, o- only like leftovers of this approach reached me. My grandfather had tough time because he was left-handed. It was, but to me, it was like just, uh, you know, just maybe learn to write with right hand because you will have problems. But no, 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 really, you know, forcing me to do that. But like. 60 years ago, there were guys who were at the uh, Academy of Arts or uh, studying architecture, and then they were, they were forced to draw with right hand. Oh, uh, that's, that must have been horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. What? Left-handed lives matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I mean, I just, I just checked everyone is just really of, like... list of famous uh, guitar players are left-handed. Oh, Jimi Hendrix, come on. Jimi Hendrix, Kurt Cobain, Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath, Paul McCartney, there you go. <laughs> wow. uh, yeah. yeah. But wow, that's, I didn't I didn't know that. I didn't I didn't know it was it was uh it was like that to be honest. They had a lot of anger to communicate. So this is why they yeah, they sure. played so well on the guitar. And I didn't realize like Yeah. Like Paul Gray from Slipknot there on the list as well. <laughs> A lot of anger. <laughs> oh, no. We're all a bunch yeah. of, I don't know, right-handed fascists. <laughs> well, on behalf yeah. of right-handers, yeah, like, of, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't read, no, but yeah, wow, that's, that's, I didn't, I didn't know it was, I didn't know it was that bad. It, it, I mean. And there, there we come to this famous uh, right-click select to left-click select <laughs> issue of the yeah, blend yeah. world. Where it's, it's, it's the opposite. Right. Oh no, sorry. No, no, it's not. It's not the opposite. Yeah, that's exactly it. I, I so which, no, because which is like better, really. Maybe Andrew isn't aware. Like, uh, so, um, because like at least in the Blender community, like when in the earlier releases, I mean, one of its one of its like uh, iconic features was that you would select with the right mouse button, uh-huh. which yeah, kind of right? put it, it a has, lot of people off. It has changed in the two point eighty. Like yeah. By default, you you set set this up at the beginning, like but whether in, you want in, the major settings to be like industry yeah. standard or the old fashioned, you know, hardcore blender, right? Yeah. Oh. But so there's some people in the community who are like, no, you know, it's it's like it's a, a yeah, yeah, like they, it's like an afro to have, them. To... Yeah, they all have their arguments, sort of. Yeah. But oh. you know, I mean, so. Yeah, we we left-handed people basically want to take over the control of the <laughs> civilization. The, the left-handed you're, Illuminati. You're, you're, yeah. Your time is your time is coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was I was all I the was, years. Of... I was invited <laughs> during my first month on studying architecture to this inner circle of left-handed students and professors. <laughs> That's a good script for a like a mock movie of of some uh, Da Vinci Code stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be. It's a million dollar million dollar idea. Like a conspiracy of all, you know, left, left-handed people. Yeah. It's like the whole architectural is industry is run by left-handed people now because of that. That's it. Yeah, that's the explanation. It wasn't because of like I know there's, there's a, it wasn't there's because of them having to adopt those spatial obstacles in their in their youth. It was because they were part of that organization, and now yeah, there's right. a quite there's a quite now famous all... catch, f- famous sketch from Monty Python's Flying Circus, uh, uh-huh. the arch- the architect sketch, and 
there are kind of like assuming yeah. that all the architects are Freemasons and they have like yeah, yeah, secret, yeah. secret <laughs> you know <laughs> secret societies and uh, secret handshakes and I need to check out whether they are shaking their left hands that's, yeah that's, a, that's that, that would be cool yeah yeah like that uh, would be the proof <laughs> Yeah, the final I remember proof. there was this guy who wanted to get in and he's rejected, right? And he's right, uh, accusing right. other people. <laughs> yeah, because he's, yeah. he's uh, designing a slaughterhouse instead of yeah, a living yeah. <laughs> flat apartment. <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> flat building, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so, but when it comes to this, uh, 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 people are get, i also thought that you know in general people now the situation changed like globally everything changed uh, the, the the environment changed so people who need to get creative uh this is this is what creativity is for so like in in real life in in biological life outside in in life of animals they are also creative when they get stuck in some situation they cannot they cannot uh, get out from so like for example i i some time ago i saw a video of a squirrel squirrel and it was for me it was definition of creativity the squirrel wanted to get to the food which was left for some birds and the guys who prepared that they knew that squirrels are are are, are stealing that food so they made some special like blockades for squirrels so they couldn't they couldn't reach it and she was trying like five, six times, like head on, try to st go straightforwardly for this food, and, sh and she couldn't. She bounced off from this like hanging, like blockade, something like that. And she looked at it like for a minute, <laughs> and then she found some crazy road through some roof, then bush, then then tree branch, and finally she dropped from that tree branch on top of this food. So that was creativity wow. at work, like like the definition. Yeah, yeah so, so, at its best. Yeah, so 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 now I, when we are sitting at homes and we are trying to find some ways to, I mean, there's a lot of uh, maybe not the best creativity, but in general, people you know upload all those crazy movies. People do stuff at home now. Uh, they yeah, are that was kind of interesting to see actually, like people working, people you would never expect. Would do would do something like that just yeah you know, but also you know nice. like like okay how to make this uh some i don't know how it's called like you the the the, the bread grows because of that uh it's like this mushroom uh which you add to flour flour it's uh i don't remember so people who cannot buy it for example in poland and okay now it's easy you take a little droplet of beer which is full of this this ah. thingy and you add it to sugar and flour and you have it you can have this this thing to make your own bread so or i don't know a, a cake so people but, but get what creative. is it like yeast yeast barley yeast. yeast yeast yeah hey that's actually yeah that's that's pretty clever beer yes oh, but yeast. then you know yeah. yeah i don't suppose you guys have like you, you you didn't get any liquor bans, right? Like you you guys can still buy alcohol. Uh, here, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The only yeah, the only we, moment yeah, but, where at first, but at first when the whole quarantine stuff started, the the shelves with the uh, with the heavy liquors were empty. So like the, <laughs> a lot of people yeah. were buying people out. People were the, thinking ahead. Yeah. Yeah. The the, <laughs> the high percentage alcohol for you know, sanitizing oh last okay the last time when when there was a, a, a the 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 booze was banned temporarily in poland was when when our polish polish pope uh, uh, uh visited poland so every time uh the polish pope in, invited uh, uh, visited poland the booze shops were close for like two three days especially around this area where where he was like everybody had to look nice and you know clean and <laughs> with, you know like i with ironed with ironed uh shirt and... what really no no yeah, like I'm, they... I'm, now i'm kidding but but in general <laughs> this is kind of funny like you know you are not going to drink because we don't want to you know like 
yeah. walk around Embarrass- on the street. We don't want you embarrassing us in front of the Pope, basically. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we are... Listen, listen, we know how it looks like, but Pope is coming, so for three days you can pretend right, that everything is correct and you know how to behave and <laughs> everything is fine. <laughs> that we are, we are, you know, good boys here. We don't do anything bad. Yeah. yeah. Well... But good to know. Also, you know, when it comes to these challenges, there's one thing that I liked, and I think there's more, more, more of it uh, right now because of the, of the quarantine and and the, the pandemic, is uh, those. Uh, this is ex- exactly the thing which you DJ said. Those challenges with a uh, time constraint thing, and for example, on Instagram, like maybe two years ago, three years ago, there was like thing which started i think it mostly started in cinema 4d community this daily render thing so people would uh oh create a very simple things and yeah yeah but but i, I we we contacted uh in, in guard from net we contacted several guys who kind of like they 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 got out there with their works uh, in Cinema 4D and Octane and they mm-hmm. started uh, really publishing their thing and work with these tools uh, uh, as a part of this challenge or I don't know when it started and how official it was like maybe it was like a, you know just a way of working which you can adapt for a week for a, for a month or for a year there was something like that like do it for three months every day and uh-huh. and when you looked at this this works of course, when you have one day to do something, and this is just maybe you have, you have one hour, maybe an hour and a half, maybe two, because you also do other stuff. So that, at some yeah. point, people well, k- kind of uh, kind of uh, created some kind of repeti- repetitive uh, workflow to to really deliver and to create this 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 work every day. Yeah. And t- but you could notice like over weeks every day you could notice the quick uh, development of of their works and some of them till st- some of them kept doing that it was not like they did like did from three months they did it for years and maybe not every day now but very they post something new very often and you can see because this is posted every day you can see the the you know like there is not huge huge jump in skills and in communication and all the stuff uh, in between i don't know several several days but when you scroll down like two years you can see how quick progress they make and this is also yeah the, this is just what, what i thought about these challenges with time constraint uh which they force you to to really go through a lot of through a lot of stuff which you maybe some 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 some, some, some sometimes you dwell on it like some not important details some stuff which is just grinding and heavy work which okay you need, you can have these skills but at this particular work or project they are not really essential to make a very cool work yeah, and it's kind when of like you have a, yeah. kind of like with sketching like people sometimes claim that you know quick sketching and repetitive sketching of uh, the same thing is uh, driving more that you learn more through quick and dirty work than through kind of detailing yeah. very very like hard worked yeah things that, but that, i think that, that you want to finish it's it's also important when you do when you're doing the real thing sometimes like to polish every every single detail but for develop self-development it's better to quickly roughly sketch out things and just yeah go with the flow sort of yeah you but i think it, this way. part of it is also i think when you don't get bogged down by the details i mean especially for sketching i think like the the reason like the reason a sketch is a sketch is because you you you're trying to kind of articulate your thinking, uh, like visually. You know, it's like I, I like I actually really enjoy looking at sketches that have um, where sort of you can really see like a a statement. You know, like um, this is the 
uh, like it's very loose but then y- you can see that like they're they're trying to capture this the the shape of a particular anatomical you know like a muscle insertion or something like that and that's i mean i think that that kind of study like uh y- like also applies i think to quick to quick to quick 3d work i mean and i th- and with with the but the interesting thing is that you kind of you also kind of are forced to interpret like a brief um like in trying to interpret a brief in an original way that's not like the same as what you did the like a month ago or something you you will you are kind of focusing on a particular like you're you're actually mm, it like it, everything is loose but you're actually doing it so that you can mm, put a lot of thought on a particular detail like i i remember i, I don't know if you guys uh, cuz like when i was when i was starting to learn 3d i think one of the first uh, programs i picked up was cinema 4d and it was because of nick campbell's uh, 5 second project contests you guys ever hear of that? Do you guys ever, you guys ever try that at all? Maybe you, Andrew. No. Hmm? Nick, Nick Campbell's contest. Like his five second, the five second challenge. Like you had to just, he would give a prompt, and then, or like he'd give a theme, and then you, you in a month, had to create a five second animation. Um, oh. On the. I thought that the you theme. need to. Hmm. Yeah. In a month. Hmm. In a month, yeah. But you know, like no, it wasn't I, like. I, I would check. Yeah. On. Sorry. No, I, I would check on it. That's I, I, oh. I haven't heard about it. Oh okay. No, but I mean, I don't think he's been. I I think that it's been act- inactive for a while. But uh, I think maybe like two thousand. Uh, yeah, but maybe there'll be some 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 info on what yeah. happened. Yeah, it was really cool though. It was a really cool. It was a really cool um, uh, monthly gen- contest. Gen- yeah, and generally this kind of like challenges, like they they were happening all the time uh, across the web, like in different genres of art and stuff like that. If you look on Instagram or whatever social media, there are a lot of like things to jump into if you want to like creatively challenge yourself, or you can come up with your own idea. And set up a challenge for yourself. And <clears throat> what I wanted to say is that, uh, like people right now are many of many like I've heard many like podcasts or I don't know um, live streams like people talking about uh, the whole CGI industry right now and some branches like really being impacted by the whole pandem- pandemic thing and people worrying about losing their jobs or losing losing oh really uh, losing you know because of the whole economical impact on, on right. things and on, yeah like that, like like that some parts of the industry might might get hit heavily and other might even like benefit from from the whole situation uh, not sh- it's not really sure you know no, no one really knows the an- the answer yeah what, what will happen but uh, <clears throat> but, but what were they probably... speculating would be like yeah but like I've heard, for, for for example, I think it was discussed on, discussed on Art Cafe uh, that probably you know the games industry might might not really be heavily hit by the whole thing because like mm. kind of like the demand for games is increasing yeah. during yeah. these times. Uh, even but then though, if less people are, have like jobs, uh, who's gonna buy yeah, the games? Yeah, but there are obvious uh, handicaps like. Uh, Obvious, like uh, caveats of, of of the whole workflow for for game development companies, like trying to do this whole the whole production, like yeah. from home, remote work. But but I guess that this might be the the part of the industry that's most most ready for such a transition or change. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's true. Oh man, so I, I, I feel bad for big, the VFX guys. What I wanted guys, to say though. is that that mm-hmm. that it's probably it's not a it's it's quite a wise thing to kind of like broaden your set of uh, tools if you're proper if you're for example if you're a typical oh, art yeah. artist or that's true uh, or you are doing you know product visualization or whatever you you have some kind of a skill set for a specific uh, branch you're maybe specialized in it 
but this is a really close thing for f like to many many other areas that you might not yet have tried or you know doing yeah, a never shift had a from to... yeah never had a reason and uh, that that's my, that might be also quite a good idea yeah, good. To, to just you know try yeah. keeping your hands in in some kind of a different area of of CG art just checking out you know it's it you never know where it will lead you uh, sort of and right For now sure. times are changing so we have to be ready to to be flexible that's for sure everyone needs to be flexible that that was in fact that was really true uh, to some extent even before that uh, period like that you never uh, all the discussion about you know AI taking our jobs and stuff and oh yeah just, just generally technology and evolving so fast that some people's some some people's workflows get kind of revolutionized every year or every two years and you have to constantly learn anyhow so especially in this field yeah so so but when it comes to computer games, I think there is the demand is bigger, right? Because people are sitting at homes. Mm -hmm. uh, but for example, the Netflix uh, and all these companies, they kind of had to uh, reduce their production. Yeah, the sales yeah, are bigger, down. probably. Yeah, but shut yeah. down they, the whole sets of shooting. Like yeah, live, maybe. Live but maybe hopefully, because you cannot really organize a set of actors and the whole production maybe there'll be some cool animation animated projects or on this yeah. kind of project Might be yeah also i've heard about using uh, virtual sets for shooting so like yeah unreal engine or stuff like that used for this kind of purposes to, Do you mean uh, like vir virtual sets uh, yeah uh, environments to to yeah but you can or... place later on place you know, actors filmed with green screen or whatever yeah with this or just or just film. virtual uh, or just virtual actors yeah as well so what what's something like uh what what sort of application of of 3d or or maybe cg art in general have you guys always wanted to try doing uh I, 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 for sure, I, they're very high on my list. There's substance, <laughs> but mm. you know, I'm not honestly. I'm working uh, in in the render farm at least at now, uh, and remote remotely. I don't. I'm not in a situation when I have more time. I have the same amount of work basically. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. if I was in this situation, I kind of envy people this situation right now. Kind of, of course, no, it's no, not I know to... it's it, it's so it's not a, it like you can't say that out loud, but yeah, yeah I, I I get you, man. Yeah, I have a friend who's like sitting at home and basically he doesn't have much lot of work, and he asked me, okay, listen, I'm bored, and I say, Jesus Christ, man, I have such a huge list of stuff to do which I don't have time to do and like this painting oh i would like to have time one month of only have time to sit in and paint it would be great it's it's not never going to happen maybe when i'm 80 years old <laughs> so <laughs> yeah but yeah, so, then, then sometimes it's uh, <clears throat> sometimes you might hit this uh, kind of thing that you have a long list of things that you would like to do but you don't really have the motivation so oh yeah they are the good time, to not do them but you tr can't, can't really decide on what what, what is what is this that <laughs> yeah. yeah you're really motivated to do so yeah they sound that they are good for that list of things which you can do rather than really yeah be done yeah but yeah but for example painting painting digital painting is mm -hmm. it's like yesterday i started i started to paint and i as a younger guy much and, and kid i painted a lot and wrote a lot so yeah, it was like that. It was like oh, that's cool. This, yeah, uh, I think so. you'll, uh, yeah, like, um, like over the weekend or whenever, if when you finally get around to try and create, I think you're gonna have a really good time. If you've been yeah, painting in Kim, you're Kim gonna have a really fun. good time. Mm -hmm. Just having fun with the brushes. It's yeah, of, yeah, exactly. I mean, this is such a fantastic feeling. I mean, when I even configured basic stuff with this with this tablet and I, I just took uh, some some ink brush very simple 
and it kind of really re reacted for my hand and just spread around it is like oh my god this this is uh this is fantastic feeling to 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 work with that it's whatever but i i don't have to draw anything in particular there's no goal i just have a this pen and just just doing stuff on the screen and that, that's enough <laughs> yeah that's really cool yeah i'm kind of kind of developing my <clears throat> Uh, drawing skills sort of uh, analog way the, the old-fashioned way with a pen and pen and a uh, piece of paper like, on, on my sketchbooks and uh, in terms of 3d I kind of started uh, out a project a private project of developing my uh, a character that I was uh, I'm doing like kind of uh, characters comic book characters like uh, inspired by my kids and they all have oh kind that's of cool like their, kind of like their alter egos comic book characters and oh. have, i have some some concept sketches are already made like on, on paper and i really wanted to turn that into 3d somehow to maybe maybe in the future maybe uh, make a short anim animation whatever just like explore the whole thing about uh, creating a character and animating it and all the things that I've never really seriously touched. Like, I mean, I I have some kind of uh, idea about it. I have touched a little bit of every piece of that uh, process, but uh, not really made a full project like you know, from start to completion. And I would really like to have some time to learn that. You know, mm -hmm. maybe later on rigging, maybe and stuff. But first, I started with uh, with trans transforming the, uh, the flat idea into a 3d sculpt so i'll try because right now in blender at least uh, that that's my pcc of of love of first love so right now the sculpting thing is doing uh, quite good in the oh yeah 2.80 branch and the whole thing yeah. that pablo Dovaro is doing uh for the blender sculpting is awesome and it's, yeah, it's really inspiring to, to like touch on this whole area because I found that sculpting, like I always liked sculpting when I was uh, in the fine arts academy as well, like sculpting in real clay, and I found that cool, and I think I I did quite well on that. But then after I finished, I graduated, I didn't really have time to do anything like that. And 3D sculpting is yeah, it's just like it's it's really fun because it's so much easier to 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 really do that. You just sit in front of a computer and and start sculpting, and uh, you don't have to you know do the whole dirty preparation work and, and cleaning yeah. up afterwards. And there's undo. Oh. And there's undo. <laughs> and there's undo. Yeah. Yeah, you know you have some kind of an undo if you're doing with clay. Sort of, you know, you can always you know, scratch things. Yeah, like, no, but I would say that apply some clay and uh, yeah. So like natural clay is also kind of forgiving to some extent. But uh, but what I meant is uh, yeah, that's a whole a whole. And I started doing that uh, at at the beginning of the year, and later on just got busy with all the work and stuff, and didn't mm -hmm. have so much time. Even though the quarantine is happening right now because of also you know if, while, while you're having a family and, and some kids it's also you know so to some so extent it's even more work right now for us as parents for example yeah, because we have because they're, home they're home and the, whole the, time. the school the school is uh, also at home so, so we have yeah uh, we, we've, we've hit the jackpot <laughs> so so this, being this, busy this plug this plug made uh, artists more like artists because they are poorer but they are more creative now they have less money but they do more experiments so they are more like this 19th century painters in france yeah, the, like the romanticized uh, yeah yeah oh, <laughs> but, I guess man, in I... of, but in terms of art it kind of like pays off i think like almost always I think it, it, to some extent, it always pays off to be a little bit kind of on the, on the you know, I don't know, renegade side of things. Because uh, I when I look at the history of, of, you know, every time that art gets gets into some kind of like an industry vibe, it loses mm -hmm. this 
this explorer factor, you know? Mm. If you look yeah, at that's... the film industry, if you look at the music industry, whatever, it just once it gets in, into these wheels, just of, of you know budgets, deadlines and stuff like that, it it it's super easy to lose that you know artistic flair. I just I was just recently watching with my kids like the, this whole these these whole remakes of the classical animations, for example, like mm-hmm. like the latest Lion King, for example. And uh, stuff of this kind, like the whole, this, this is a kind of like a whole new genre of mus- of movies that seems to be kind of like you know just cutting off the coupons from from say old masterpieces, like <laughs> if yeah. if we can call that way, you know, The Lion King and the other yeah we, we call yeah. right now classic the Disney animations that were maybe movies of. This is a yeah. good topic for a conversation, actually, for uh, for next podcast. That I mean, uh, this this when you work in a commercial as a CG artist, you can work in a really creative part of of I don't know making movies, visual effects, stuff like that. But also there is that architectural visualization and other, uh, which is basically advertisement of of, of designs and. Uh, there it's re- to some way is to some degree it's repetitive or when you really work in advertisement you need to sell some brand so where how to how to save it this this part of of being creative and and really uh, mm-hmm. uh, like engage personally into a project and uh, not as you said, this no, not just re- repeat the stuff which is going to sell, or you know, it's because yeah, sometimes you, sometimes it's not about art, really. Sometimes it's about yeah, the charts. <laughs> oh. Yeah, to, yes. The bills have to be paid. Yeah, th- there are some people who I know they are very good at working in ad- advertisement. It doesn't discourage them that they have to do something about uh, I don't know a chocolate bar but there are some people who, who for for whom it's it's a problem to yeah. really you know yeah I mean, vibe themselves tune themselves into that and be honest to some to some degree and engaged because this this is necessary if you want to yeah. do some good work yeah but i i wouldn't like dismiss uh like advertising, for example, as a, uh, you know, as a non, I mean, it, it, I guess like a lot of, uh, a lot of what goes behind it is also, I mean, being able to come up with the right sort of, uh, with the right symbol or the right, or suggest the right thing, I guess is, it's a very, like, it's a highly, I think, creative, uh, practice. And I think, like, and and I guess, like, some, uh, like, I was having a conversation like that with a friend of mine, and um, and he was a, a, uh, like, a copywriter, um, and he was saying that sort of what was what makes it interesting is that you, you have that added challenge of trying to sort of make your words uh, mean something, but, um. You know, without 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 compromising the message that the client wants you to make, but also without compromising the message that you want to make, and it's hard. But when you can get that perfect balance, uh, usually those are what become like the more successful uh, campaigns and stuff. And you know, I mean, I guess, yeah, like I, it, it I, I, it's not for everyone. I'll, I, I'm sure, but I'm sure that there's you know. It's not like you're, it's not like you're condemned to, to I don't know, artist hell or something for yeah for working in advertising. I guess the situation is not uh, black and white as well, you know. Yeah. Sort of one one zero situation. Like, yeah, so. like if there were like a Dante's Inferno for for artists, there'd be like I don't know, like the lower circles would be, you know. I mean, I mean, there's just that whole stigma, I guess, and I. I just, yeah, yeah, but I heard, yeah, I mean, but I've heard people from uh, p- people um, working 
in the kind of in the industry in the film industry uh in the united states for example like people <coughs> people dreaming about getting into into i don't know pixar or whatever some sometimes people have this kind of uh, ima uh they imagine that getting into into what is called the the industry sort of yeah that that makes your dreams come true and then so, uh, i've heard a few of 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 the opinions that you know once you kind of see that in the works uh you you can easily get like frustrated with how it really looks like that you're really just you know a tiny knob in this whole machine and it's kind of like sucking sucking the blood of your creativity oh because man the, really because of the because of that's this whole, i mean uh maybe it's not for all people like probably uh uh, I'm not. I'm not trying to know, de demonize things like, like. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Companies I mean, like uh, Pixar, but uh, I think that sometimes you know, sometimes it's uh, yeah. I mean, I just it, didn't. I just didn't know that it was that. Like, like, uh, yeah. I guess I was one of the naive few who thought it was like this magical, happy place where. You have unlimited coffee and donuts at the pantry of the highest quality, and then you can just like, I don't know, you're trying to come up with a piece of concept art or something, and you just feel like playing ping pong, so you just you just waltz on over to the other side of the no, room. Maybe, and maybe, maybe people there are playing studios working like that. I don't yeah. know. Or like you're just trying I'm to just, think I'm of like, like I'm just briefs like, like while jumping on a trampoline or something. Or... Yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> just like giving know. secondhand opinions. So <laughs> I haven't really yeah, been no, no, working but... in the studio like yeah. that. Yeah, no, but that's that's. Cool. I mean, yeah. It, but I know, it... I know. Like for example, like Lech Lech Sokolowski from Chocofor has uh, said that in one of his uh, interviews or whatever. I've heard him talk about his kind of career path. That like when he started out, at first uh, working at this uh, at a company. Producing um, 3D content, and then he kind of like got the job that he thought he it was his dream job in a big uh, visual as a visual effects and uh, movie effects studio in Germany. I think. Oh really? I, I think it was. I think it was Pixamondo or something like that. Like a quite big, uh, well known studio, and he was working for some time uh, some time there, and then found out that the thing that he thought was his artistic dream was not really it, and then he started kind of like going his own path and uh, starting Choco for him. Oh wow! So, if you're, yeah. if you're really creative, you might you might have to have a creative idea for your life. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. No, but I but yeah. So I mean, going back to the and whole thing. And now you're thing. and now you're for now now you're forced to <laughs> sort of by the whole yeah. pandemic thing. It's really like the state. There are actual to, stakes now. Yeah. yeah. How to? How oh, to you want to be creative, but how to create your life? Better creatively find a your way home. to feed your. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but yeah, no, but I, I don't know. I mean, I think that's yeah. Like uh, going back to the, what we what what you guys were talking about earlier. I think a lot of it has to do with this idea of. Mm, because you mentioned like parameters are good, like they they stimulate creativity, and that's that's definitely true. Um, but sometimes it's also nice. Well, at least to me, like I I kind of enjoy times of like low stakes. You know, like you just have this much time on your hands. You would you can sit down and uh, like just yeah try to do whatever you want on your on your um, like make a scene quickly. Uh, or 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 even yeah like a, a little animated skit or like I think that like the the promise I think of 3D for me was that idea that you could kind of leverage like this technology to create to actually realize like a, a, like a little world of your own you know like your own yeah <laughs> like you get to play Lego with things that you yeah. make with the lego pieces you make yourself and then like just build your own like tell a story with these little with this digital like lego set mm -hmm. um but then you know that was before you like that was before you realize like how how uh i don't know 
like that's before you discover like gimbal lock or or like all of those other rigging issues that that take hours to fix or something and then like you spent the whole day just troubleshooting why your 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 mesh like didn't bind to your rig after all of the work that you did making the rig or something like that you know um but i think that but but it's cool because things are I mean, like we talked about this before, like uh, it, it's becoming way more accessible now, and there are ways, there are more ways now than there were before. Um, and it's, yeah, I guess like I'd like to think of this. I mean, for well, maybe not for me, but for for people, you know, who are like out of a job right now or just staying at home, and you know, this is this is a good time. Like, this is a rare opportunity also to kind of just play like just just like make whatever you want like try to you know like you have the time to actually come up with a with a little like a manageable project sure but something something that you otherwise wouldn't really be able to do because you have these deadlines to meet and you'd probably you know Mm. yeah you can you can reorganize your army it's it's got out (laughs) from a battle for 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 several days you can just you know exactly yeah <laughs> change up your formations and things like that yeah yeah well i guess it's a uh... guess this has been a pretty interesting it's been a pretty interesting episode i i wouldn't even really call it an episode it's just a bunch of guys trying to make sense of the world <laughs> <laughs> through Skype and uh, <laughs> I that don't know it was yeah. a very ra- radio radio thing you said <laughs> like <laughs> northern northern exposure Chris Chris thing <laughs> if you if you watched it, that show no I don't but what is it but it, it's, it's uh, there, there's that show. There was that show, Northern Exposure. It was very popular in Poland. It's an American show, which mm-hmm. happens in Alaska. And there is a Chris who is a who is like a life philosopher mm-hmm. and also a radio host. And he mm, just, uh, no, I just said like this. This oh, that phrase said. like he would have said something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man. So I guess we're gonna have to call this episode to a to a close. I mean, yeah, it's already like by over, episode over an hour. Yeah, like I'm, I'm I use the word loosely, but uh, yeah, we're like an hour and thirty in, an hour and forty in. We said we were gonna talk about something, but we absolutely like I don't know where we ended up, but it was still fun. And so if you um, if if you're listening and you I hope you enjoyed it. We hope you enjoyed it, and we hope you took something away from this. Um, I think if you're a left-hander, I'm pretty sure you took something away from this. <laughs> so use your left hand. Yeah. If you, <laughs> oh, it if you are left-handed and you are not part of the inner cir- circle, that means that that means that you missed something important. Yeah. You mean the inner circle, the may reggae have, band? You may have you may have glossed over some some yeah. nonverbal cues in your back in college. <laughs> right. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so I guess um, this is this is it. Everyone, stay safe, and um, we'll see you in the next one. If and don't forget to wash your hands. We live long enough for there to be a next one. But yeah, don't forget to stay stay safe, stay hygienic. <laughs>